everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another Makers with Heart Mystery Envelope Challenge. This month, Lori sent out the mystery envelope and in it we got um, some twine and uh, some shimmer trim. I think this is periwinkle, some of the mix-ins and some periwinkle cardstock. And Lori's rules are, she said, this month my rules are simple. Use some sort of mixed media in a new way. It can be stencils, texture, paste, gloss, spray, or any other one I pick. Use it in any way I want. Okay, so the supplies that I'm going to use are, I've dug from my stash all of these snowflake thin cuts that I own, along with the outline alphabets and the gnomes for winter papers and stickers. And the photos I'm going to scrapbook are from a uh, trip that, or a day trip that my husband and I took down to Cripple Creek to uh, go see the ice castles. Okay, so my mixed media that I'm going to do, I cut these two borders uh, of icicles from Cricut. I just plugged into uh, Cricut Access icicle border and pulled this up and cut it out about eight inches wide. And I'm going to use this transparent gloss texture paste from Ranger. Close My Heart used to sell it a long, long time ago. So make sure you mix it up really well. And um, I'm going to create uh, an icicle look on these this border that I cut out of White Daisy. So we'll mix that, that up really well and then start spreading this texture paste over the border. So I'm going to give it kind of that clear icy look and then um, I'll add some blue color to it. So I'm getting it whipped up smooth and then I'm going to use some sapphire reinker along with this lunar paste. This is from Ranger and this color is called No Diving and the lunar paste has an opacity to it and it's this uh, bright royal blue that's kind of um, pearlescent as well. So I'm going to start out by spreading out the translucent texture paste on this border and I'm going very thick. I want to have some extra texture to it and, and uh, just that icy look to it. Then I'll gradually uh, mix in some of the reinker and very little goes a long way. So. I'm mixing this in and then I'll bring in a different uh, spatula and just start painting some streaks of blue. So I want them to be clear uh, or translucent but have that blue look to them and just have some streaks going down the icicles. So I'm just going to paint in some color all along this strip. So I'll do this one on camera and then uh, the next one I'll do off camera. It's the same process. So I'm just kind of painting and keep in mind, this is all experimental. I've never done this before. So I, I just had this idea in my head and um, I'm just going with it here just to see what it looks like. And in retrospect, I would have cut the uh, paper instead of from White Daisy, I would have used a thicker uh, paper, maybe some of the Tim Holtz watercolor paper, just so that it can hold all of this uh, mixed media better. But I managed to make it work and using that uh, splat mat, um, once it, it's dry, it can peel off and the extra layer of paste gave it a little more strength. So it's all good. So I'm just mixing in this color and just making some streaks of blue. And then I'll go in with the lunar paste and add some more. Just to increase that depth of color and give some more streaks in a brighter blue. 
I think it looks pretty cool. No pun intended. <laughs> Ice. Uh, so I'll just continue adding. And then after I get the second one done, I just hit the whole thing with my heat tool to speed up drying. You could just let it sit and dry, but I wanted to hit it with the heat tool to get it dry enough so that I could remove them and then uh, get things cleaned up. Okay, so this is the finished product. And then we can continue on with our layout. So off camera, I've cut a whole bunch of these snowflakes. I've used white glitter paper, periwinkle, sapphire, and um, some of the dreamy holographic paper. And then I've cut these outline alphabets in sapphire for the um, outline and then um, the dreamy holographic paper for the solid letters. And we are expecting more of uh, the alphabet in at the end of April. Okay, so my base is going to be espresso. This is one of the colors that's part of the Gnomes for Winter collection and these papers and stickers are still available. So on the left side, I've cut a 10 inch block of the pattern with a uh, quarter inch larger um, block of periwinkle and then an eight inch block of uh, the snowflake um, pattern paper with eight and a quarter square in sapphire uh, as a mat. And then for the right side, I'm going to use pattern number 20 for Make It From Your Heart, volume five, just those two triangular pieces at the base. So I use those same dimensions. And we'll uh, add um, the snow pattern to the left side and then the other pattern to the right. And then I've also pulled the zip strips going to use one on each side. I thought I was going to follow the pattern and put it at the top of the right page, but then later on you'll see I changed my mind. So I have a mat in this dreamy holographic paper and then another one in sapphire. And my photo for the left side is five by seven. So we'll just place that right in the center there. It was really cool. At Ice Castles they had um, this throne that was carved out of ice. So we had our our photo taken there. And then on the right side, I have a mat of sapphire. And then later on off camera, I'm going to add another mat of periwinkle. And then I'm using the light side of periwinkle for each of my photos on that side. So I've also printed um, the town logo for Cripple Creek, Colorado. And I've matted that with some of the dreamy holographic paper. So then I'm going to place my two icicle borders below each of my photo blocks. I'm just kind of fussing with what's going on here and seeing what I like. So Cripple Creek, it took us about two hours to get down there, south of where we live. It's an old mining town that has been changed into um, a casino town. So we went down there to see ice castles and then we found the one restaurant there that wasn't in a casino <laughs> to have dinner. Okay, so I thought I was going to lay out my letters for my title on the right page, but then I decided to go ahead and move them and put them above my um, large picture on the left. Okay, so off camera, I've glued most of this down. I'm going to pop this large picture with foam tape. And then we'll go ahead and add the zip strips and borders that I created. So basically, it's a lot of gluing right now. Um, I'll go ahead and do the left side on camera. And then we'll do the right side off camera. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put the icicle border down first. And if you don't have this um, precision glue press, it's from the makers of the Misty. It is 
a handy little tool and it makes it so much easier to use uh, glue on all of your tiny um, die cuts. And it's got that uh, needle tip nose so you can really get in there. And I just find it a lot easier than those uh, little tiny glue bottles. Highly recommended. Okay, so we'll go ahead and add that um, icicle border. And then um, we'll overlap the zip strip over the edge. So we'll place that down. And then we'll do the same thing on the right side. And then off camera, I'll get all these letters glued down. Okay, so we'll start on the right side and get that down. And well, first I'm going to kind of lay out some of these snowflakes. And I just, I keep a, a little uh, zip bag of all kinds of uh, glitter die cuts <clears throat> that I have um, in various colors uh, of all these snowflake images uh, so that I can use them on various product projects as I always go back <laughs> to my little bag of snowflakes. Okay, so I've cut some of the stickers from the carrier sheet from the, the sticker sheet and I've pulled one of these white word strips to journal the date. So I took a bunch of pictures that day, so I'm going to do a second layout um, after this one with more pictures. So that's why I don't have a ton of journaling on this, um, the two opening pages. So basically just where we were and the date. So now I'm going to kind of fuss with all these snowflakes and scatter some of them on either side. So we'll have just a few, and then I want to leave some, some white space above on the left and right of that photo block. So we'll get all of those glued down. Just have some snowflakes cascading down. And then I'm going to bring in, this is an old product. I've been hoarding them though. <laughs> and so they are um, sequins and they're iridescent snowflakes. So I'm going to scatter a whole bunch of those around and you'll notice that they kind of disappear just a bit, but in real life, they just catch the light just so. So they really do make an impact. Um, and I'm just going to scatter a whole bunch of them around. The camera just doesn't pick them up very well. So be sure to click on the playlist at the end of this video. I'll also put a link in the description below of all of the other Makers with Heart Mystery Envelope videos. We all publish on the 25th of the month, so we're all going live at the same time. And uh, you'll be able to see the cool things that um, we've done with either the products that Lori sent or um, other products um, using a mixed media technique that we've never done before. So here's some close-up shots of this, these layouts. And stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to be working on um, the next uh, double page spread for the rest of these Ice Castles photos. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and then you'll be able to find all of my videos. And don't forget to click on that playlist and I'll make a list of all the supplies that I use with links in the description below. And thanks for watching.